All right, Tracy. Tracy, you're Stress. up. Stress. Ah! Spotlight. <laughs> it's not a stressful situation at all, by the way. I'm going to go jump on my trampoline for 10 minutes. Not really. Um, <laughs> I, I think um, when it comes to energy and when it comes to stress and it was, comes to breaking that stressful energy, it's as much as mindset and it is motion. Most of us, I know me included, when I get stressed out, I want to hide under my bed. Um, it's my favorite place. It's my safety zone. I take my teddy bear under there, and I'm completely happy to just sit under there and, and decompress. But that just builds on the stress because I'm not getting what I'm supposed to get done. It doesn't alleviate the situation at all. And when uh, Steph and I first talked about this, she hooked me up with, um, I think her first name is Kelly. Her last name is McGonagall, a positive psychologist who um, reiterated all the things that I knew about stress. And when we're in a stressful situation, our heart rate increases, our endorphins go kicking off, and we look at stress as it's ripping my body apart. Um, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to have a heart attack at 49 because of all the stress in my life. And what McGonagall was talking about in her TED Talk was if you look at stress like that, then surely it's going to happen. But what's really happening in your body during times of stress is you're getting ready for the fight. Um, you know, if you go back to our caveman psychology, you're getting ready for the fight. You're getting ready to be able to protect yourself. Stress is a good thing. It's a positive thing. So when you think of it that way, you're more apt to be able to tackle whatever is stressing you out. And I know for most of us that sit at home and work, or stay at home and work, I guess we should say sit at home and work, but um, what do we do all day for eight and a half hours, sometimes nine hours? If you've got a late HOA, it's, you know, ten hours. Um, when you're sitting all day, you're just in the stagnance. And your energy is just bleh, tight, bleh, tight. And no wonder you're getting stressed out. So what I try to do, and I was talking to Chandra about this before, is 10 minutes out of every hour, get up and move around. And I know she loaded up some really cool YouTube videos and was dancing around the house with her kids. And I haven't what, what up yet, actually. I still have to do that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, she did it once, I think, because you told me you did it once at least. Yes. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, you know, just amazing energy change. We can't sit and will our energy to come at us. You know, you can't will yourself to be motivated for anything. But if you get up and start moving and start changing the energy of the room, of your body, of the motion, that's more going to motivate you in order to try to get the next thing done and try to get the next thing done and try to get the next thing done no matter what's coming at you a bad phone call you know somebody makes a snarky comment on a post that you thought was fantastic um, you know you can just blow all of that stuff off when you're in a good energy space so that's my suggestions is get up and move around um, look at stress as a mindset of helpfulness not hurtfulness and um, you know it's all about the mindset Awesomeness. Awesome. Awesome. So I'm going to actually, we haven't heard a lot from Gina, and she's been popping in and out. Um, not sure whether she uh, will be able to stay. I'm, I'm back in. But, Sorry. Um, Gina, I know already, being your brother, how you feel about this, but give us your thoughts on this uh, getting up and moving as a way of dealing with stress. Getting out and what? I'm sorry, you cut out for a second. About Tracy's thoughts that we should get up and get active and in order to deal with our stress, just absolutely hit it head on. Um, what I used to do, and James will like this, is I used to keep a set of weights beside my desk at work. Um, a full and although I had an entire gym downstairs, I still kept a full set beside my desk. And I would work out. And people would be talking to me, you know, from whatever, um, Medicare or some government official or whatever. And I would be 
Um, actually, well, listening to them with a headset and still working out and lifting weights and dealing with the stress in a good way. So it gave me the motivation to get angry and deal with the stress in a positive way, and it actually helped um, build my body at the same time, too. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah.